Hey folks, Ben Haggett here. I'm the Olive Prima Pashad guy. Been building these boxes for about 13 years and uh, still doing it the same way. Just me and my shop. Today let's take a look at this box, which is the 8x10 Blackfoot. It has one storage drawer, which can be on either side. Um, can open out to either side. And it has space for four panels in the lid, four wet panels. Um, 8x10, it's actually the size here. It's four and seven eighths this way. High. This dimension, nine inches. And this dimension, 10 and five eighths inches. And it weighs about, uh, it weighs four pounds, six ounces. I just weighed this guy. Well, let's just take a look at opening it up. There's a little D-ring here on the front. And you're just going to pull this down and away. And door opens and the box is ready to open up. It has these friction hinges on the back and that will hold the lid relative to the pallet area in any configuration up to 180 degrees. So they are tough. I mean, they're strong. So you need to grab a hold of the box with one hand, steady it while you take a hold of the side and just crank it open. I'm gonna adjust this a little bit, more like I would paint. I like a little bit of an angle. You can get a lot if you want to. So take a look at that. Um, like I said, all the way up to 180. Um, I've set it up on the tripod. You can see how I do that. I use my the backpack I carried the box in um, as a counterweight. It's hanging from a little hook on the tripod. That will help a lot with stability. So I've opened the box up now. Like I said, this one has a drawer on the right. That is, you can have it right or left. It's an option. I'm gonna pull this open, slides out, and we have a little stop at the end that will keep it from sliding all the way out. Usually you'd probably be painting with it, you know, partially open is what I would tend to do. All right, we'll open this up. This is an auxiliary pallet. It stores right here. I'm going to pull that out. It's going to attach to the opposite side of the box. Just clips on the side like that. It has some brush holes that you can uh, put some brushes in. The drawer over here is also notched, so you can lay your brushes like this. And this little, this is just a little container, pallet cup. Could be a small brush washer. I include that. And this is also included. It's a little, it's just a little carabiner type, key ring kind of carabiner. And uh, it's useful for hanging uh, brush washers and stuff. And we'll take a look at that in a little bit. Okay, I'll set it up with a few things and we'll see how it all works. I've loaded the box up with a few things, some paint and stuff. And we'll just take a look at what it actually might look like if you're heading out painting, just set it up. So once again, open the door, open the box. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is put a panel on inside this lid here. You can see some different options here. These are eight by tens and I put a couple of six by eights. I'm using this divider to store the six by eights. This divider, is removable and you don't need to use it. You can carry four eight by tens if you want. Um, I'm gonna grab, I'm just gonna grab one of these guys here. So I've got an eight by 10. If I was gonna set up landscape, um, here is the panel holder system. There's a lower ledge here and there's an upper ledge. And it's spring-loaded, so it grabs the panel and squeezes them in between these two. Um, it's pretty simple. That's basically it. It's adjustable, so you can s slide it up. I like to, like, put my thumbs in and grab the box. And... So I've got a panel on there. And then I'm going to access my stuff. So sliding that open. Here's the auxiliary pallet. You do not need to use that. 
auxiliary pallet. It's totally uh, up to you. Um, I put a pallet cup in here that obviously can clip onto the auxiliary pallet. Um, if I were using this as a brush washer, I'd probably open it up and put it in the drawer so I could access it. Got a pallet knife in here. Usually some handy magnets around you can stick pallet knives on. Um, in this case, I've stuck some paint in here. Um, and in this case, I have seven 37 mil tubes in various squeeze out states. And this is a 200 white that's partially used up, but all brand new, you could, you could squeeze that in there. You could probably do eight, I think. Eight 37s and a white, big white here. This is a little divider for the drawer. It just creates a little segregated area for brushes, right? These brushes are cut down. Like I have a mixture of stuff, but I cut them for a box like this, I would cut them down. You can also just carry them separately if you prefer to keep them full length, but this is the longest kind of available space in the box. So that's where I store them. If I were trying to be as compact as possible, this is what I would do. Uh, this is removable, do not need to use it. So if you're not carrying brushes in there and you just want to have more space to move things around, you can just take that right out. The drawer itself is removable. Um, like I said, it has a little stop system, but if you want to take it out, you can just tip it up and scooch it out like that, right? You might want to do that, like for example, if you're painting in your car, which is kind of a, it's kind of a little shortcut. You can pull the drawer, set that on a, on your passenger seat and hold this in your lap. This box works fine in a lap. It's a good size for that. And there are some little rubber feet on the bottom for setting on the table and stuff to keep it nice and uh, stable. Putting that back in. And at this point, I would be, you know, laying out some paint. At any rate, you have three quarters of an inch of depth to play around with. So you can lay paint out and close the box up. It's not going to be a hassle. A lot of people like to use a brush washer. Now this cup here is, you know, it's pretty small. It'll do for some people, but some people like to keep brushes super clean. Um, use a brush washer like this. And that's where this little carabiner comes in, right? So you can do this kind of thing. And then you could hook it on the side of the drawer like that and hang it that way. Uh, get some brushes out. There's some brush holes over here and you can sort of mess around and see what might fit where with these guys. I have a lot of the same size here, which is not the best demonstration for the uh, brush holes, but that kind of system. So there's a potential setup for you. Like I said, I would usually, let's slide this guy down a little bit. I'd usually paint more like that probably. Just decreasing some of that leverage and uh, on the on the drawer and then just be pulling it open as I needed to. I have a nine by 12 panel here. Let's put that guy away for a second. So here's a nine by 12 and if I wanted to use it portrait orientation, there is enough room to do that. So there you go, 12 inches vertically in there. So what's the maximum you could do on this? I don't know. <laughs> you could. You could probably get away with doing a 12 by 16, 12, 16 in landscape mode. It is very good when you're done to give the box a little wipe down, you know, just around this rim. You don't want paint building up and making big blobs in places where, you know, the wood needs to come together because that is going to cause you some problems and you'll be forcing things together. But you do not have to be super neat. You know, you just need to get that, the worst of the paint knocked down. So the divider, if I'm using it, I wanted to paint a six by eight. It's okay. I have a couple of panels in here. 
You'll see that these six by eights, if you look, you know, they're way down in there. That's gonna be hard to get out, but you don't have to stress about it too much. If, as long as you can grab the, the end of the divider, what it does is it slides straight up and down on this little metal track, right? So it has a stop at the end and it will, as you pull it out, bring those panels out with it. When the panels get out, you can easily, much more easily grab one. Nice little source tech panel. Um, this space here, I've designed it to hold two of these. This is gator board, which is 3 16 of an inch thick, and it has some linen canvas on it. So it's designed to hold two of those, is the maximum thickness. Down here, these are eighth inch panels, and those easily fit in with plenty of room. That's the sizing I've got here. So this is a bit over 7 16 of an inch, these, these slots, all right? So this is that's how you use the divider. I'm gonna push that back in a little bit. And then open back up, slide this up for a little higher aspect kind of thing. Put that in. And there I'm set up with a 6x8. That's how the divider works. If you're not using it, let's just pull this up here. If you don't want to use the divider all the way out and it will store you, know, you can hide it away in this drawer somewhere like that and there you have you're completely opened up and you can do four eight by ten panels okay so suppose I was very productive I painted these they're both wet so again we're gonna go back to back when we store stuff you know, it's always going to be back to back. Storage system. So that we are keeping those from touching. You know, keeping your wet paint from touching anything, obviously, is the goal. Alright. So I got my wet panels put away. Doesn't matter where I put this. And for that matter, this is removable, right? I'm tipping it away. If you just try and pull on it, these magnets are really strong. You're not going to get anywhere at all. So I'm tipping it away, rotating it away like that. And then I could store it in here if I wanted. So I'll just go about putting some, getting this a little more organized, and then we'll just break the box down. And that should pretty well take us through. Okay, I've just kind of organized my drawer a little bit. Put my stuff away there. And... I'm going to take off the auxiliary pallet and it stores upside down in there. Close the drawer up. This little post keeps the drawer from sliding open when the box is closed. So you just want to check. Is that going up and down? Yep. It's all working fine. Now I know the box is going to close up easily. And, uh, Again, I'm steadying with one hand, and I'm bringing it down. Push that door in, and there you've closed up. I'm ready to take it off the tripod. So this is the 8x10 Blackfoot. Yeah, like I said, 4 pounds, 6 ounces, empty. And 4-panel uh, storage, a drawer that can be either on the right side or the left side, your option. And uh, I think that about covers it. Um, thanks for coming out with me.